Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn that how we can send the data from parent to child component, right? So in the component-based architecture, like uh, in the Angular or in the React, there are very high chances that we have to send the data from one component to another component, right? So probably it can be possible from parent to child and child to parent. In this video, we will learn that how we can pass or send the data from parent to child. And after one or two videos, I will just show you that how we can send the data from child to parent. That means uh, our current video, uh, in case of uh, next video, it will be vice versa, right? So now let's uh, look out the points of the video first of all. So we will just make a users component and then we will make this users component as a child component of app component, right? Then uh, we will pass the data from app component to child, that means app to users component. And uh, we will display the data in the child component also, right? Now let's get started. First of all, I need to make a users component. So now let me just generate it. ng, g for generate, c for component, and component name can be users and just hit it and now you can see that we have a one more folder in the app which is users so we got the component here so here we have a text like uh, users work that but I am just going to change it like uh, child component right and let's use this component in the app dot component.html how we can use we have to know that uh, we can use the selector name as in tag name right as kind of html tag so let's come back to the app.component.html and just write here app users and let's close it and now you can see that we are able to display the child component that's great so now let's uh, define any property in the app.component.ts which is the parent component so let's write here like data and in this data for a moment we have only a single string value and after that we will see that how we can use it and object also right so it have a name like bruce and uh, in the app.component.ts just simply write here hero and just use it kind of binding and then uh, just simply use here data right so data is sent from the parent component now so now we have to receive it in the child component so let's enter in the users.component.ts and first of all we have to just uh, import here input right and this is a basically decorator and uh, it will just select the input from the parent component and uh, the input name should be hero because we just get the data inside the hero property right so just simply write here hero and uh, basically this input is a function right so we will use it like this so now let's uh, use this hero in the app dot component dot uh, oh, sorry users dot component dot html so just write here h2 again and just simply write here hero right and uh, here you will find that we got the name Bruce great okay so we are able to get the string but how we can get the an object for that let's come back to the app.component.ts and let's make it object like uh, name uh, can be Bruce then age can be like uh, 40 and uh, if you just want to make some other properties like uh, my pet like email or something else then we can also add like uh, test at the rate test.com right great so now let's uh, check the output now now you will get there is an object is kind of object so we have to just break it with the dot property dot and then key name right then again come in the users.component.html and then simply write here dot name and we are able to get the Bruce so we have three more properties two more properties age and email right 
So let's do the same thing and let's check out it here. We got the all properties here. That's great. But uh, let's say you just want to use this hero data inside the, the TS file also so that you can just simply get it here and for confirmation you can console it or warn it like hero and uh, okay we have to use this dot hero and uh, now we are able to get a log inside console also right so this is the way that how we can use and pass the data from parent to child and use it in the HTML as well as in the TS file. So in the next video, I will just show you that how we can make a child component and this should be a reusable, right? So we will get a lots of user and pass the data like this and the child component should be included inside the for loop, right? Which we call the ng4. So thanks for watching this video again and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.